Previous to the commencement of the British project, the United States military authorities dismissed the technology, mistakenly believing it was merely a sci-fi fantasy. In April of 1941, Major General Henry H. Hap Arnold attended the demonstration for the Gloucester E-28 in the United Kingdom. During his visit, he became aware of the British jet program. During the Tizard mission the previous year, a British delegation traveled to the U.S. and mentioned the jet program. However, the subject was not spoken about at length. Arnold requested and received the plans for the aircraft's power plant and went back to the United States with them. A demonstrator of the British Whittle W-1X turbojet engine was also sent to America in October of that year, inside the bomb bay of a B-24 Liberator. The British had also sent the plans for the W-2B-23 engine and a team of engineers from power jets. Major General Arnold knew that an American version had to be produced. On September 4th, he extended an invitation to General Electric, asking for an American version of the engine, to which they agreed. The following day, he reached out to the Bell Aircraft Corporation in Buffalo, New York, to work on this secret project, then labeled MX-397. Lawrence Dale Bell, the head of the corporation, accepted the request and started working on three prototypes. At the time, the project was kept under extreme secrecy. Only a few members of the company knew about it. To get away with the construction of the first American fighter jet, the parties involved launched a disinformation campaign. As part of it, the United States Army Air Forces named the project P-59A, suggesting it was an extension of the separate Bell XP-59 fighter project, which had already been cancelled. Almost every element of the project was mislabeled to confuse German and Japanese spies should they get a hold of any information. General Electric continuously talked about the engine it was working on as a spare part.